Hey, love bugs, it's Roz, I'm back, got you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support and that I'm... Uh, you know, returning the vibes to saying, you know, we're going through so much right now. We're going through transitioning, integration. So I'm just sending out so much love and, you know, uplifting vibes your way, especially if you truly need them right now, because I feel like we truly need that. Um, so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have, not, have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable now please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction as well as you feel like the video is very informative to you or just gave you good vibes you feel like hey i'm going to pass this on to my my friend or a family member so please go ahead and do that and my cat's coming in here um and you can go ahead and give me a while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for you know coming by my channel and showing love and support i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my um i hope my my music is like i've been trying to you know uh be very specific about the meditations i use i usually go by you know the the content of the video you know especially if we're going through something you know i try to put that vibe on towards the back because i don't know what it is ever since i've been um making my videos you'll hear this this low roaring noise i don't know where it came from so that's always the reason why i always put music on so you wouldn't be hearing that it's kind of creepy so uh the meditation music that i'm using today is 528 hertz healing angelic angelic music manifest positive outcomes and happiness magic miracle music and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about um see our lessons through our brutal mistakes and situations so um yeah it's just like we go through a lot of things and there's so many people i've been getting like one-on-ones with or just people i know from youtube i mean not youtube but like from my other social media uh connections that i deal with you know people always come to me for you know advice and i love that sometimes it can be very overwhelming but in the same thing you know if you you know you, if you can understand you know we as empaths we put a lot on ourselves and it's just like when we're very open and we're going through all these different changes you have so many different energies that are coming at you but it's just like i love the fact that if i've been through a situation i can always use that to help somebody else see their situation because sometimes we can go through the worst things and we'll just see the negative in that situation we will see the negative and you know you have to know that you know like i tell people i even make videos about it there's always a reason behind the pain that we go through there's you know people that have dated other people and find out they're married you know like oh i didn't know this it makes you feel really bad and it's just like okay you know it's fine you know we go through mistakes but that's the reason why we go through mistakes but you have to be able to learn the lessons through everything that you go through just to know that you won't be able to do you know get yourself in a situation the you know to be in a situation where you're you're you know you get caught up like that or get blindsided and it's just like anything we go through because it's like with my situation i was in a very unhealthy relationship and you know i used to ask god universe why am i going through this you know i was a good person i was loyal i was this and this and that but i was seeing this the negative part of it and i used to always say oh i wish i never met this person or i wish i never met that and um or it's just like people that i've met since i've been doing my youtube channel that you know people didn't know what they were going through and it, i mean they, we could have even just connected because it was a group that i just so happened to get through and these people i just gravitated towards you know people come towards your way um for that season and there's a lot of times that's why i tell a lot of people sometimes we go through situations we have a bad time of putting certain people on lifetime expectations expectations when they're supposed to be seasonal you know you we can do that you know but it's just the whole point you have to be able to recognize those things we go through these hardships like if you gone through a, a bad breakup and you found out this person was this and this and that you should never wish that you never went through that situation because then if somebody else try to come at you and play you like that you already know like oh shoot i've been through this situation before i can stop this train wreck from happening 
right before it actually tries to go into play. So that's the reason why we go through these situations and find out the life lessons that we go through through the brutal situations we've been going through or the mistakes that we have caused in our life. Nobody's perfect. And I tell people, you should never be ashamed of the mistakes you have made. When you can own up to your mistakes, own up to your faults, take responsibilities for your own actions. Yeah, there might have been some people that did something to you, but you have to be they weren't you weren't in the situation by yourself you probably seen the signs and just didn't want to see it there's things i did that i, I told people i'm very open about that you know if it's to help somebody else you know i always tell people when you get into a situation you know look at what that situation has taught you knowing that you have to learn that lesson and it's just like right now a lot of people can be going through the same cycle we're going through that rotating door and i've said this also in other videos you might go through that same rotating door and you're like, oh, God, I'm going through this again. I'm going through this again. But every time you go through that door, you're noticing other little details that you never saw before. Like you can go through a rotating door, but you probably never noticed that little crack on the side of the door. Or you probably never noticed that picture that might have tilted towards a situation, you know, certain way. Or you never probably knew this, the picture of that picture. You know, you could go past that picture and never paid attention. Oh, you know, this is a painting that actually reflect on something that I have in common with. There are so many things that you, you weren't able to pay attention to at that time that was put in your situation for you to be able to look at it different. So it's just like knowing you're going through a certain situation for a reason. When you go through things in life uh, reoccurring if you weren't you didn't learn the lesson the first time. Like when it comes to our life, stop Irma. You know my cat's over here messing with stuff and she's just doing the most today. But uh when you go through certain situations, stop going through certain situations like that, you know, uh, it's for a reason. You know, you have to go through it for a reason because you have to learn to um, learn what you basically what universe is trying to teach you throughout life. You know, they're not doing this to punish us. You know, sometimes we can feel like we're being punished. And there are certain people that um that are going through depression it's just like i really hate it when i see them going through depression and they're like oh i'm never gonna find nobody or oh you know love ain't meant for me or oh i'm gonna be by myself for the rest of my life if you push that towards the universe that's basically you if you feel so strongly about that you can't be surprised if you're not with somebody or you're in a bad relationship you know that's why i was telling a friend you know just yesterday some people like to be in a relationship just because the fact is they don't want to be alone or people in a relationship for the wrong reason saying it just to be in a relationship and then you wonder why it's not working you know if you're in something for the wrong reasons you're gonna get the wrong outcomes and it's gonna make you look at things a different way you know you can be in a very hurt relationship and it can make you pull up a wall and you have to know it's like when you go to do situations like that you know I've had people that have I have came in contact with and they didn't know things about their own personal self that I had to be able to mirror out to them. That's what us as helpers do. You know, you help people understand, okay, this is what you need to know about yourself. There's so many people that I've kind of came in contact with that found out they were witches. You know, but when you look at your paganism, you know, Wiccan or whatever, even when I first, you know, found out about certain people that were pagans, I'll look at them, oh God, do you cut off chicken heads and, you know, you're doing devil worshiping. You know, we already going to look at that negative aspect out of it, but there's always a balance. There's, you know, white witch and there's people that practice the dark arts. You know, it's, it's just, it all is all about what you give out to the universe. So it's just like all these things about yourself, you never know. You might have past lives that you noticed it things look familiar to you but you're trying to um, you know put it in the play like how is this familiar to you because you haven't done it in this life but you did it in the other life so it's just a lot of things that's coming you're trying to come into terms about what lesson that you get out of the situation that you've been put in you know trust and believe no situation you're put in is meant to hurt you you know there i mean i know when it comes to death that's already enough to swallow but it's just like if we have lost a loved one and we get angry at the world and sometimes I've even been like that angry because it's like God took my mom from me but then I have to look at it like what situation came out of the outcome yeah we had a very oil and water relationship during her, the hardship because my mom was going through depression but towards the end my mom was very loving you know she was the best mom you know I ever wanted 
you know, I got to spend that time with her and I cherished every moment, even when she went through her cancer situation and I took care of her for those last three months. That was something I would do over again if I had to do that again, which I would, God forbid, I would not want to do that. But it's just the fact is I can say when my mom left this earth, I had a clean conscience, even though I wish I had more time with her. That's what anybody who lost a parent. But I can say I was blessed enough to be able to help her. You know, my mom recognized that because she came to me right when she was transitioning towards her death, telling me she was happy that we were able to get that connection that we always wanted. But she also had to help me come to terms on the reason why she was the way she was, because my mom was abused, abused for my, my adopted father. So it was just like so many things that she went through that she had to understand for herself. So when you go through these situations, know there is always a reason, there's always a lesson behind every painful experience you go through. So when you can get that concept and knowing that you're blessed just to receive that information and understand what it's trying to teach you, better off you'll be in life. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope, you know, everybody is blessed. And like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload a next video, like and subscribe, and even share a video wherever you see fit. My post notification goes out to Drastic Mark, much love to you, um, Donna Lam uh, Lamon, and Amanda Lee Blackwood, and Anzo's son, much love to you all, and I'll holler at you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And so now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'll see you later on the next video. Peace. Be wild.